Hi, this is Aaron Montgomery from Brown's Richmond Volkswagen. Just making a little video for you on the 2020 Volkswagen Passat R-Line with the platinum gray exterior and the black interior. It says the first year of the new body style, the 2020s. First thing you'll notice on the exterior is this front logo. It is smoothed over. That houses the radar detection system for your forward collision assist and your adaptive cruise control. You have full LED headlights with a projector lens for the low beam. Your high beam is right there and you have LED driving lights right there. We have full alloy wheels. Coming around, you see the R-Line badging on the side right here, going into that body line. We have uh, your keyless entry right there. As I hold, uh, hover over it with the key in my pocket, it locks the door. When I put my hand in the handle, it unlocks it. Do it again, it unlocks every door. Now on this side view mirror, as you can see, we have blind spot monitor right there, your turn signal indicator right there, and a strip, LED strip right here for your turn signal so everyone else can see it as well. It does have the sunroof. Coming around, we still have the gas cap on the passenger side of the vehicle. That's actually the safer side of the vehicle. It's away from traffic if you're parallel parked in the city or something. Uh, if someone collides into you or, or uh, it will not damage the gas tank, which is nice and safe. <laughs> See, we have the Passat logo on the back, name right there along the side. Directly under the emblem, there's the switch and the backup camera. It's a high resolution camera with a high resolution screen in the center uh, infotainment screen. Really a spacious trunk. You can fold down the seats right here and then lock them into place when you get into the back seat or you can open up right here. You have a full size spare as well as a scissor jack and everything you'd need to change out a tire if that happens. Give it a close. We have full LED tail lights. Now let's hop in the back seat, check out the interior. We have some nice trim right here on the sides. In the front, you'll see one that says R-Line in it specifically. We have some door trim right here really nice some soft touch uh, leather wrap doors with uh, one touch automatic up and down windows on all four windows around the vehicle now with this black uh, leather wrap material you do you do have the white accent stitching right here it's really nice let's go ahead and hop in so I drove this car around the lot I'm uh, about six foot let me zoom out a little bit and I still have at least two to three fists length of space and I adjusted my seat accordingly where I would drive. We have two fast charging USB outlets with your vent controls, little cubby holes behind the seats. Cubby hole and cup holder right here, as well as over there. You have your light controls on the roof right here. And then, well it's sealed up, but you have two and a half cup holders right here. Um, one small one about that big, the others are normal size. That's to, the center one is to hold a, uh, oh, that's nice. First person to touch that. Center one is to hold a baby bottle right there or something of that size. Speaking of children, we have the easy to access uh, car seat latches right there. Very visible, very easy to get to and a ton of space, very comfortable. Now let's go to the important seat, most important seat, the driver's seat. Right, taking a look here, as you can see, we have power seat on this side with lumbar support. You can go backwards, forwards. You can lift the whole seat up, the whole seat down, just the back, and there you go. You can recline, and I don't know the real word, but you can unrecline. And again, four one-touch automatic windows right here. You can lock them right there. Open up the trunk here, nice and cool. Door lock controls right here, the same door trim, same leather wrap, soft touch, very comfortable. And then your uh, side view mirror controls right here. It's a little joystick. You go to L for the left one, go to R for the right one. You can put it in the center. Now you just got a fun little toy to play with, or you can put it to back here, 180, and then it'll defrost the mirrors. So that's nice. And you can also just play with it. Alrighty. Now the new redesign was for the exterior and the interior. Very easy to turn on, foot on the brake, finger on the button. As you can see, the R-Line gives you metal uh, pedals, metal pedals, 
And uh, this one is connected to the floor. It's not a hanging one. It's a lot sportier, easier to control. You have the paddle shifters on either side. You can hold that to get you out of the paddle shifter mode. Um, and you have automatic headlights over here with the same trim around. And that trim continues all the way across. And then check out these vents. Really only this is the vent and that's the vent. And you have another one right here broken apart by the hazard sign, uh, the hazards button. But it's, it's just integrated all the way across. It looks really slick around that smooth, soft touch leather wrap dash. Nice, slick, very easy to see. A ton of, a ton of uh, visual space. Then you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. So it'll uh, kind of like transition sunglasses. It'll get a little bit darker when uh, it detects uh, headlights, like light beams going into the mirror that would normally blind you and affect your vision. Now this does have dual climate control. So the driver can have a different temperature from the passenger. As I turn it on, you'll see the temperatures come up. Right now, low is the temperature. I guess low means 63 degrees, what an odd number. But you see, I'm only controlling the driver's side. If I wanna sync them up together, I press the sync button. Now the light's on and they're both the same. As I turn this knob, they're controlling it. To desync it, I could either press the button or just turn this side one and it immediately desyncs it. Sync it back up, control both. Do whatever you want. You're very easy uh, to use uh, where the fan comes out. You could hit in the middle and it'll switch between the two or you can just select both, do it that way. But to save a button press, just push in the middle, push them both at the same time. I think it's pretty cool. And you do have heated seats. Boom, you have three different settings. You got way too hot, just right, and not really hot enough. But that's at least how I feel with my Volkswagen. <laughs> I like this, I like the two. Three is a little hot. Maybe if you're on a short drive, that's really nice. It'll uh, heat up real quick, but the if you're going for a long one, you just want to be at a good temperature. I do like that, but uh, everyone's different. It's just an option for everybody, so everyone can be comfortable. And you have your USB charger right there, as well as a circle charger outlet. This USB charger, actually, when you plug your smartphone in, it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as Mirror Link for Samsungs. Pull that up, just go to app, you can see right there. So now it'll display what's on your phone screen or something similar to it. Uh, you can access your own maps, your own GPS, and uh, uh, music, whatever whatever uh, app you use, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music. Uh, you can even do Waze, Google Maps, and uh, Apple Maps, whatever you use. So in audiobooks and podcasts, whatever you want, all through there, you have your phone calls and your texts as well. It'll give you notifications, and then it'll read it out to you. Um, it's really nice. And you, if you have an iPhone, you can access Siri with this button right here. Now the steering wheel is pretty cool. You got your volume controls right here, your uh, cruise control settings right here, as well as the distance you want to be behind that car. Let me just hit okay so I can go back to that. And uh, yeah, so you can set how far back behind a car you want to be. And then you can cycle through your infotainment screen or your uh, MFI data right here. So I can do distance, average speed, current miles per hour, my oil temperature, a, you can set a speed warning. It won't slow down the car or prevent it from going over that speed. It'll just let you know when you do hit it. Consumption, average consumption, and then your current range left. Really nice and easy. You do have a couple other things you can see. You cycle through the different things with these silver buttons. So I have my assistance, and uh, that's gonna be the lane assist and everything. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, music, phone, and then you got, now here's your turning on and off your driver assist features. Lane assist, rear traffic, blind spot, and your front assist. The front assist uses, uh, or the adaptive cruise control uses the front assist radar system. That's why if you turn that off, uh, it won't do the adaptive cruise over here. But we'll just leave it on because it is kind of nice. Uh, I have lane assist in my car and I do really like it for long drives, but for short little drives, I just turn it off. Uh, I like to be in a little bit better control but uh yeah and you can see your lane assist icon right there the yellow right now we're not going fast enough because we're not going anywhere uh so it's yellow it's saying it's on but it's not uh currently uh doing anything as soon as it turns green when you get 40 miles per hour uh it'll turn green and it'll be on and it can detect lines with the camera stationed right up here so it can see out the glass uh, and all that now go 
go back to radio, turn it down. Now we do have FM, AM, and Sirius XM, which is really nice. You have your media, you can do an SD card or whatever, or you can do Bluetooth if you don't want to plug your phone in. Um, but I would prefer plugging my phone in. In your app, you have your sound systems, sound settings, uh, bass, mid, treble, all that. So go over to menu, cycle through app connect settings, and it's basically all of the buttons on the side. Um, you can just do that. So yeah, coming down, we do have the classic uh, handbrake with the push button start, nice gloss black around the shifter, leather wrap on the side, some soft uh, silver right there. And then that same accent around here, two cup holders, a little cubby hole there. You can open that up. You got a really nice storage spot. It goes really deep, easy to, easy to fill up. And a little card holder right here at the bottom. Sorry for that nauseating camera angle, but uh, you can lock up your glove box right there for uh, if someone's taking your car, uh, like valet or something and uh, all that. And you can set your tire pressure in there. Doesn't do anything right now. It's already been set and nothing's low. And you have your classic sunroof controls right here. Uh, however far you wanna open it, that's how many dots you go. If you wanna open it all the way, you go right there. It starts to work. Really quite cool. Turn it back and it'll close. You can do it in the middle and it'll just stop halfway. There you go. I did just a little bit, not all the way open. And there you go. You have your sunglass holder right here. I can leave that open or I can do that. And while that's closed, I can actually push that button up. And now it's cracked and the air comes through, oop, the air comes through these vents right here. You can see it's cracked when I pull it open. And to close it, just pull down on that joystick. All the way. <laughs> there you go. Close that up nice and easy. All right, last but not least, let's check out this high resolution backup camera I was talking about. Not bad. Maybe there's something covering it. I figured out what was wrong. I left the tailgate open when I pushed that button. Now let's put it in reverse. And there you go. Beautiful. We can drive around. Really clean, really clear. Nice and easy. Alrighty, now that I finally got that figured out, about 10 seconds of just looking in the rear view mirror. <laughs> if you have any more questions, you can call me. My number is going to be in the description and in the email. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.